Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our final discussion for Marvel Spider-Man 3 here on our comicbook.com YouTube channel. I am Logan Moore. This is Chris Killian. Kate Onder is at home in his bedroom. On this episode, we're going to talk about what we want to see in Marvel Spider-Man 3. I mean, this is all spoilers. Again, once again, if you've been watching our other videos here on our YouTube channel, we're spoiling everything tied to Marvel Spider-Man 2. So if you do not want to know what happens in the new PlayStation game, Click off this video quick before we dive into everything. Let's talk about Silk. It's the it's the big one. Well, I, ish. It was the kind last of. one. It's the last one. It's the last surprise. It the is. last end credit scene. Yeah. Old Cindy showing up. Um, yeah, it was fine. It, like, I'm not the biggest Silk fan. Like, she's cool. Yeah. It's, it's whatever. It's not for me. So, for me, it was just like, a, mm, okay, cool, I guess. But I imagine she will be a third playable character in the third game. Yeah. Is that what you're thinking, Kane? Chris, you may be able to answer this better than I can, but weren't they making a Silk movie at some point? Like, it's I a TV show on Prime Video. That's it. Did that get scrapped? Or is that no, I think that's still happening. It's As far okay. as I know, it's still happening, but who knows? I mean, there's. I think there's a right. lot of things because of the strikes that are getting paused. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're like, well, Silk's about to become a mainstream character, mm -hmm. right? She's going to be headlining a, a show, so let's, you know, let's utilize that. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I don't, I don't know if you can balance three spider people unless the plan is we're going to get rid of Peter in favor of Silk. Which That's my favorite. We, we, and we talk, I don't want that. Yeah, no, I don't, I, I don't think anybody wants that. But I, the other thing that I'm kind of <laughs> surprised is like why they went with Silk over say like spider Gwen, um, which yeah. you said maybe it's because like she's more associated with Spider-Verse stuff, but there is a tease for Spider-Verse when you collect all the spider bugs. So I, I, I told Cade what I genuinely want in Spider-Man 3, and this might sound horrific, and I'm sorry if it does, internet. Um, I want Green Goblin to kill Mary Jane, and then I want them to introduce Gwen as the new love interest. I want them to do it kind of in reverse. Mm. I mean, if they're gonna really t throw this universe on its head, I think that would be interesting. Um, and it would make Mary Jane's death kind of impactful since she's been a playable character and she kind of, how this game ends with the resolution between her and Peter, I don't think they will do that. <laughs> but I, I, I would like I, to see Gwen introduced in the next game. I think that I could totally see them doing that. If they, but if they introduce Gwen in this game and kill Mary Jane and then Peter sort of gets over Mary Jane fairly quickly, <laughs> I think that's, that's It would a, be a little overt, yes. Yeah, I'd be like, mm, Peter, you dog you scallywag you <laughs> that was like the whole reason they had to cut Shailene Woodley out of the basic Spider that's what I was going like, to say this, yeah. is, this is inappropriate <laughs> um, you don't have to necessarily introduce Gwen in the third game you know at the very least post credit scene just like this one where she shows up to his door or she bumps into but him if in this is the whatever. final game there's not really a reason to do that but also I feel like you can sort of incorporate Gwen by way of Spider-Verse with Spider-Gwen yeah. and not it not be a love interest or you could mm -hmm. kind of do what they're doing in Spider-Verse and be sort of a love interest for Miles though I guess you can't do that either since like, he's sort of got a girlfriend. Yeah, he's got a girlfriend. I feel like I, it's not... Love interest for Silk? Who I knows? Was say, I how, don't well, know. I was going to say how, how old is Silk? <laughs> like she looks like she's like 12 to 14. All we see is the back of her head but yeah. she looks like noticeably smaller than everybody oh, else yeah. in the final cutscene. So I don't know how that's going to work. Are we going to have like a spider kid to play as as well but like it reminded me of penny from spider verse yeah oh like, yeah the back of her head i was like oh <laughs> tiny yeah. tiny spider kid that's what i thought it was setting up first was it was penny and then i was like wait who's moon i forget and then i had to do like a quick google and i was like oh it's silk da. silk's gonna be in the next game in some capacity whether mm -hmm. it's not i feel like what they might do if nothing else is kind of what you mentioned Cade. it's not what i want but i feel like they're gonna try to phase out peter and have this be like a trilogy of peter games and then continue the series with silk and miles and it's uh Cade, is there anything else like j just generally speaking not even story stuff because i know we've talked a lot about the story um what else would you like to see from a spider-man 3 like whether it's mechanics or whether it's new characters or stuff like that uh like what are you hoping to see in a new installment because they've obviously covered a lot of ground here at this point i like that they expand the map in this game i hope they continue to do that it seems like there's a lot more you you can hit like an invisible wall that sends you back into the the city if you go too far out um, and it seems like they've already kind of started designing whatever is beyond there, whether we'll get to go there or not, I don't know. But um, so that would be great. It's almost like, I don't know, they've 
for mechanics, they've done so much to make this such like an ultimate, not the comics, but literally an ultimate Spider-Man experience with the symbiote, the web wings, the spider arm thing. I, it's like, I don't even know what's left to hit. I guess add the spider mobile. Let's just do it. If we're going to have a bigger map, <laughs> just let me try it around. <laughs> I mean, we could That's get, yeah, I mean, they could get real carried away and start like giving him like web shields and weapons and stuff like I know he has in the comics and stuff like, like there's a lot of mm-hmm. different things they could do, but it, I get, I feel like it gets progressively cartoonier, yeah. which they're kind of trying to keep this as no, I grounded feel, I, as I'm, they possibly can to I, some degree. I'm with Cade that like I, all I wanted was web wings and, and the fact that we get that in this game, it's yeah, I'm, I, it could literally be the same mechanics and a new story, and I think I would be happy. I don't I don't know that you always have to, you know, you can't fix what's not broken, so. People are always gonna want more, otherwise they'll call it glorified DLC or whatever, which. They'll uh, complain about. <laughs> no, I know. I I know. 4.5 Look. and they freaking complained to me, I almost swore. They, they told me that's not good enough, and I said, <laughs> I don't tell you. People so. that haven't played the game said this, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cuz no cuz no, we were the only ones who have played it right now unless you got a secret copy from a mom and pop shop. Chris, one thing I want to ask you about um with the next game. And this is something you were surprised wasn't in this game was Wolverine cuz mm-hmm. obviously Insomniac's making a Wolverine game. Yep. By the time Spider-Man 3 comes out, you would assume that Wolverine is already out. Do you think then they will put Wolverine in Spider-Man 3 because I feel like they didn't introduce him in Spider-Man 2 because they kind of haven't even introduced him in general. We've yeah. seen the back of his head and his claws from the mm-hmm. teaser trailer, so we don't even know what Wolverine's going to look like or how he's going to play or anything like that. Yeah, I, I would like. There's the I, there's a really hopeful side of me that wanted to see Wolverine cameo in this game, and I know a lot of fans have wanted that. Now, he kind of does, he, but uh, with a suit. So there's <laughs> the miles. suit. There's the suit, and there's the abandoned X Mansion, which we have established is very much the X Mansion, um, along with there's teases of Fantastic Four and Doctor Strange mm-hmm. and and the Avengers Tower and all that stuff. I understand why Wolverine was not in this though. But I do think going forward in Spider-Man 3, I think that you can have an appearance by Wolverine considering that Insomniac's making both of the games. So once he's introduced and established, if they do have a little side mission or anything with Wolverine showing up to team up with Spider-Man, I think that would be a great inclusion to that game. I think one thing they could do, and you're, you're talking about like how, what they do with the map in the next game, uh, Cade, I think you could have Spidey go to other parts of the world. Like where where is... Uh Where's the Wolverine game set? So Wolverine, set? Uh, Madripoor. Madripoor, yes. That's it. That's yeah. exactly what it is. That's the city that I think they were teasing is in the trailer. Have Sp- Spidey go on a two or three mission excursion yeah. to Madripoor it, it or something also, like it that? It also like, depends. Like, we don't know where Wolverine's at in the Insomniac game, right? Yeah. Like, we don't know if this is a Wolverine origin story or if this is, like, post-X-Men or if X-Men are going to be appearing. In the, like, we don't know. Mm-hmm. So, th- you know, that's going to also, I feel like, kind of, play into what we see of Wolverine in the Spider-Man 3 game, if at all. But I definitely think that, you know, you're kind of selling yourself short if you don't introduce, you know, sort of integrate these characters in some way, even for just a cameo. Especially you know? because, like, the MCU's kind of fallen flat later mm-hmm. lately, so mm-hmm. you might want to start a new interconnected universe here on the gaming side. I mean, clearly these games, I mean, Wolverine's going to sell... A bajillion oh, copies, I, just like Spider-Man. I has, am so, so excited. Wolverine's my guy. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I grew up. It was the first comic I ever had was Wolverine number one by Frank Miller, and I am so excited. I think if the next Spider-Man game is the last Spider-Man game, you obviously don't want to do three Spider-Man stories and then just never see him again. And that's like a really, like, unsatisfying conclusion to the character as a character that should live on. The best way to do that is you have these Wolverine games. Spider-Man shows up every now and then and is like, hey, I'm here now. Let's do something. Whatever that may be, I don't know. But that continues uh, to keep Yuri Lowenthal in the role. I think uh, we haven't talked about him, but he's fantastic as Spider-Man. I Mm -hmm. think he's the best voice for Spider-Man to me. Um, And I would hate to see him go after three games. I, I want to add to that real quick is that that's how it was done in the comics initially, right? Like Spider-Man was the flagship character for Marvel and, you know, Stan Lee started to boost comic sales, would use Spider-Man to join in on these other I mean, characters. Look at issue one of and, Spider-Man. Yeah, it's and so you you get form. a little team up. So I think that's a great idea in a, in a way that you could utilize Peter going forward if you're going to sort of like work him out of the Spider-Man games themselves. Well, last thing I want to ask Kate and then we got to wrap up. Um, they teased the Spider- 
Spider-Verse in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Mm-hmm. Do you think they're going to lean more into that heavily in the third game? And do you think that they could use the sort of infinite universes of Spider-Mans and Womans and other variants to keep telling stories in this universe? Like maybe they could deviate away from this Peter Parker that we know, but do a spider gwen game or something like who that. is the lady that shows up by the way at the end of that i wasn't we don't know sure no we do we do it's one of miguel's she's a 2099 character um i forget yeah. exactly what her name is off the top of my head but she's Diana. like a, yeah, she does definitely insinuate that miguel is going to be a problem in the future so i i imagine it's a situation where you're going to have to fight spider-man 2099 whether it's for a main story mission or a side mission and he pops up and you fight him and you know and then join forces and then you can yeah who knows i don't know you could you could wear the spider-man 2099 suit while you fight him too mm-hmm. oh that'd, that'd be, be sweet mm-hmm. uh that's gonna do it for our spoiler expansive discussion here on comicbook.com for all things spider-man 2 um if you are looking for more coverage on the game we are going to have a ton uh chris is going to have a lot of stuff going up on our social channels we're going to have more podcast discussions Cade has a both a written and video review up on uh youtube and our comicbook.com website which you can go check out right now that review is almost like 3,000 words if I am correct so if you want to hear what he thinks more extensively about the game we've got you covered with all kinds of coverage here and obviously we will continue to talk about Spider-Man 3 more in the future whenever the heck that's announced probably two years I don't know this Wolverine game's got to probably come out first so it's got to and so. it's gonna be amazing but until then uh thank you so much for watching these videos and uh we'll be back soon with something else take it easy <laughs>